The book, The Administrative History of the NDC, encapsulates the origin, formation, and transformation of the party. It also outlines the history of the country as well as the contribution by the NDC in consolidating Ghana's democratic journey. I am committed to play my part to advance knowledge and research in the NDC and also make sure that the knowledge that we have we will be able to harness them and organize them well. Further, I am appealing to all and sundry to support research, the research work of the NDC. Taking a stand to speak at the launch of the book, the party's chairman, Samuel Ofosu Ampofo, said, but for the needed health infrastructure built by the NDC administration, Ghana could not have managed the coronavirus pandemic properly. Talk about the health sector, and we can assure you that every regional hospital in this country, virtually, all of them were constructed and established under the NDC government, successive governments. The recent pandemic that broke, but for the intervention of the NDC in the health sector, the construction of the rich hospital, the East Municipal Hospital, the University of Ghana Medical Center, the International Maritime Hospital, the Bank of Ghana Hospital, among several others, it would have been very difficult for Ghana to withstand the challenges that COVID brought us. Touching on how the book puts the founding of the country in perspective, the General Secretary of the NDC, Johnson Esiedunketia, accused the offspring of the UGCC and the UP tradition, the NPP, of distorting the history of the country to make them appear to be the original founders of Ghana. Now our history has been reconstructed to whitewash these people and make them look like they were the founders of the country Ghana. So part of the book set, has set some of these records straight. And you need to read about the true founders of the country Ghana. Launching the book, the running mate of the 2020 NDC flag bearer, Professor Jenana Opukwajman, said the NDC remains the only political party in record time to have documented its history. This is also a unique party in the sense that even though some accuse us of not reading, that we haven't been to school and all, isn't it the party that has come up with the book? What does it tell about who we truly are? So this act alone upsets so many of the misperceptions about us. Leadership of the NDC says the administrative history of the party corrects all distorted history of the country. I am Kujo Ajman reporting for City News.